Hello, so in this video we're going to look at Rhino Curve Manipulation Commands, uh, specifically the Trim, Split, Join, Extend, and Fillet command. Uh, this is part one of a two-part series. So to get started, we're going to start with Trim, which I just typed in Trim. See me type it in again. It prompts you to select the cutting object, so the line that you want to cut. So let's say this curve here is... Um, this curve here is the one that we want to be split or trimmed uh, so we will select this one uh, and then depending on which side we want to trim off um, we will click on that so let's start off with trim select the cutting object this one's the one that will be doing the cutting and then we're going to select the object to trim so if we want to get rid of this little stub up here we click on it and it gets trimmed at that point uh, I can always press U, click, uh, type in U, or press on undo up here, and it will undo it. So if there's a series of curves you are uh, trimming, for example, this one, this one, and you didn't mean to click on one, you can type in U, and it brings it back. Um, as you can see here, uh, the options to extend cutting lines and apparent intersections are marked as yes. So what the extend cutting line does is that it will extend this line all the way across, and if there are any lines that um, would, you know, seem to intersect there, those would get trimmed as well. So let's say I want this one trimmed at that point. Imagine this line extending through, and that's where it will be trimmed, and this one likewise as well. So I'm going to do those last two since we're going to be using those curves later on. Um, and so you can imagine that the trim uh the tri these commands don't work with that checked uh, or marked no you can also if you see here line you can also actually define a line that you want um and this isn't you're not creating a new line it's just kind of like a trimming line and then from there you determine which ones you want um done and once you click enter at the end that white guide trimming line is gone um, so that's kind of nifty if you don't already have a line to trim by. You can kind of just determine it based off of, um, let's see, let's do it again. So like if you want this line to be cut between these two, you can just do that yourself. So just click from one point to another and then just get rid of that portion that you want. Um, so let's undo that. Next is split. Um, you want to select the object that will be split. So let's say we want this one to split, be split by that line. Um, and then you select the object that is doing the splitting. Um, unlike trim, this one will not get rid of the object that is being, you know, taken off. This one is just literally splitting um, and it'll be split into two curves. So the extend command um, will extend any curve based on um, how far a certain boundary object is. Um, so here I typed in extend and we're prompted to select a boundary object. So I will select this one. Um, so we press enter when we're done and then we select the curve to extend and it'll extend it straight to there. Um, we can select that curve again and we can extend it past that. We can also enter a length and it'll extend it by that length. So that is um, an option for extend and let me undo that real quick. Um, you can also extend arcs for example. So if I wanted to extend this arc, um, there's many ways to extend uh, different types of curves. Um, natural will extend the curve based on what the nature of that curve is. For example, an arc will continue to be extended as an arc, a line as a line, polyline, polyline curve as a curve. Um, but if you want to get specific, uh, you can click on those. This is a smooth curve that would be continuous, um, curvature would be continuous, arc and line and natural is just um, you know, natural to the type of curve already defined. So let's click on line and let's extend this arc here. So if I select this as a boundary object, click to enter, and then I select on this curve to extend, that'll extend as a line, straight line. 
um, press enter when I'm done. Let's undo that so we can do it as um, other, uh, if I do, let's just go to natural, which we know will extend it as an arc. Um, let's do that again. So that, select this one as the bounding object. There we go. And then select this one. And you see it turned, so, um, you can extend as an arc. So because this doesn't intersect with that line, um, as it is, I would intersect at this point here. Um, you're given the option of how far you want it to extend. Um, if they were to intersect, if this line, the yellow one there, were longer, it would extend straight to it. Um, but you can define it as such. Um, so I'll just leave it there. Next, we will look at fillet. Um, so to fillet a curve, uh, we can add an arc um, between two existing lines already. So we have to have them already there, the two existing lines. And we could select uh, a curve and then a second curve, and it'll just add it there. As you could see here, there are different options um, for defining that. You can set the radius. Uh, you can determine whether you want it to be joined all as one curve. Uh, currently, they are not joined, so they are three separate curves. Um, it's currently set to trim, so let's see what that looks like without trimming. Do it again, um, and we select no to trim. Select the two curves. Uh, you can see those lines are extended, um, still extended. They weren't trimmed off by this fillet curve there. Um, so other options include um, uh, this here determines how arcs are extended. Uh, so for example, if we want this arc to fill it with this curve here, it will extend it to a certain point before it fillets. Um, and that extension can either be uh, following the natural arc of the curvature or it, it will be a straight line. So let's toggle trim to yes. And let's select these two curves and you see um, a line form there. I'm not entirely sure why that line was uh, taken off, but I believe it had to do with how it was trimmed. Um, but let's undo that. And if we do that again with the arc option, this line here follows the arc, which um, in turn the fillet comes out of a different nature, but it is, they are both trimmed. So uh, the last command we have is join. We did not go in the right order, but um, join is pretty straightforward. So let's say, let's, um, let's trim that one. So let's get rid of that. Uh, let's say we want these lines. Actually, let's split, uh, trim this one, split this one, okay, this one. There we go. Let's say we want to join these lines into one continuous polyline. We can click on them, select join, and they're joined into one open curve. Um, if we want it to be a closed curve, we can add a line there. Um, and if we type in join without selecting any curves, it'll just tell you to select um, objects to join. Um, there's an option here which doesn't apply to curves. And we just select them and they are closed. And here it tells you it was closed as one closed curve. So there were no uh, gaps anywhere. And that is the join command. So that was it for today. Thank you.